heartlands we go! Hello, hello everyone. My name is Jack Sice, and thanks for stopping back in for another episode of Nino Kuni. Last episode, we got a Kingmaker. I'm not sure what this Kingmaker does. Hopefully, he does some good stuff. But right now, we gotta make our way to the Heartlands. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I'll get it. Dang it. <clears throat> What'd we get? Uh, a drip guard pendant. All right. So we have an arrow that's showing, or a, 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 a point of interest. Actually, I'm gonna take this point of interest. Go get this treasure. What are you? What's up, fam? Here goes nothing. Go, go, go. All right, I missed. I love it. <clears throat> I believe everything's dead. Yep, everything's dead. Ah! A windy cutlass. Nice. Take all that sore away. Whoa, an angel's tear. Uh, guys, 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 I... I'm gonna need you to back up. I look like a dragon tear from God of War, which I did a full playthrough of that if you'd like to check that out. But you gotta, you have to watch this episode before you go watch that. I don't know how far down you've scrolled into my channel, but I also play God of War. And it was fun. I had a blast. A munchy nut. <laughs> I forgot about the munchy nut. Uh, we're gonna actually backtrack and go this way, see if there's any more treasure. Well, actually, never mind. Not backtrack. We actually have to go this way because that other spot was. Here goes nothing. Pew! Oh yes. I mean, I kind of don't need your help, but, you know. Yas! Do, 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 do. What are you doing, bro? Come on, Lofty. All right, let's see what, uh, oh, not that. Uh, party. Let's see what old dad Batu can do with his eyes that don't blink. <laughs> he just stares. He just stares at nothing. Bring it on, Dian Goo. Pretty soon you won't need the Angu, you'll Here just be nothing. dying. Whoa, that's a purple. A breezy cutlass. Oh, shot that dude out the air. Man, I'm I'm getting lucky with these drops. This is pretty crazy. Let's check out this cutlass. Uh, oh, and I got the sham shear. Makes critical hits slightly more likely. Oh my lord. I believe we have to go up. Up and across? No, we can't go up and across. Our point of interest does look like it's right there, though. Batu, I need you to get out of my way, bro. <clears throat> I'll do my best. Yeah! Yeah, bitch. I ain't gonna save you. I wish I could drop this spirit bomb on your ass. But my my teammates won't won't wait. Of us, the dogs will be just beyond here. The bandits, you mean? Aye, Aye that I do, all time. All right, time for Kunbish and Chingus 
to make their sorry hides useful. Let's get this battle underway. We'll plant a standard for our troops to muster beneath. When you're ready to take the field of battle, come there and say the word. All right. What in the world is this? Skirmishes are army-on-army -army battles in which Evan takes to the field in command of up to four units. The aim is to have him guide his troops to victory. In order to begin a skirmish, approach the standard planted in the ground nearby and order your soldiers to form ranks. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you ready to join the fray and take on the Battle of the Heartlands? Level one. Oh, gosh. This is like a fire emblem kind of thing. Oh my gosh! During briefings, you can prepare your army for a skirmish by checking victory conditions, assessing the enemy forces, boosting your might, and picking units. Strengthen your units in order to prepare them for the perfect deployment. Check the details of your own units and the units they're current Ugh, currently facing. Open the skirmish menu and select which units you'll be sending into battle. Finish the briefing and head for the battlefield. Okay, so... Alright, so we got four boys there and a big boy there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, choose which units will go into battle. Well, can't change anything else. Calls in a sky pirate raiding party to rain destruction on the enemies. An ear-splitting sound that rattles enemies' troops, stopping them temporarily. I guess I can't. Doesn't say I can place people. <laughs> hi there. <laughs> well, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. We will win this. We have to. Okay. So what? Uh... When a unit Evan controls encounters an enemy, it will attack automatically. <sighs> Excuse me. You can rotate units to the left using L1 and to the right using R1. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess maybe I want them to go... Oh, yeah, get the long range. Yeah, f your. Oh, good lord. Yeah, what? What, bro? Yeah, take down their walls. I really don't know if this matters. Did that matter? Do their mites fall? No, does not matter. You missed! Keep it going. Yeah! Alright, so this really is nothing to... By holding down one or the other button, you can have your forces move more quickly or launch an odd assault that will... S one or the other? Uh, oh. Like the left or right? Uh, or launch an all out assault that will see them attack the enemy in the Fast and Furious fashion. Uh, oh, hold X, quick march. Hold circle... All out assault. Oh, look at them. Oh, yep. Let's rotate. Rotate. Wrong way. Oh, there's one guy there. There you go. Oh, no, all out. Uh, each unit type is strong against certain other units. Oh, lordy. Red is strong against green. Green is strong against blue. And blue is... Okay, so fire is strong against grass. Grass strong against water. Water is strong against fire. All right. When your troops are at an advantage, you will see a blue arrow. 
when they are at a disadvantage or red one. Try to keep your units in the most advent advantageous positions. Oh God! Right there. Right there, yeah. Neutralize, oh yeah. Each unit can deploy its own special tactic. These can be used when the unit's special tactic gauge is full, but be aware that this will cost military might. Military might is the power you use in order to order your units on the battlefield. You'll have a different amount depending on the type of engagement. So try your best to use it wisely. Chingis special tactics calls down sky skimmers to bombard the enemy. Uh, Kun Kunbish special tech temporarily roots the enemy to the spot with terror. Hold R2 and press uh, full pizza, no pizza, pizza slice, or pizza box to activate a special tactic. <laughs> Good day, it's me. <laughs> Let's get this neutralized. Uh, okay, let's go this way. We're gonna do the, or no, let's let's do a better one. Okay, I guess we can't really. Uh, yeah. Woo! You know what? Just do it. That's right. Reckon you something special? <laughs> Wait, me I don't listen. No. A unit's current health can be gauged on how many soldiers it has. To replenish it, hold circle to spend some military might on calling for reinforcements. We can't afford to lose. All right, cool. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I'll come to you guys. Oh, damn. Get some cheap shots in. Yeah, that's right, dude. Way to get some hits in. Hit this bad boy. Ah, ah, bitch. What's this? Uh, can't f bruh. Oh, I'm helping out too, okay. Neutralize. Big. Oh. Uh, activate shock tactics to make all unit type effective against all others and greatly slow down the rate at which might gauge is depleted. If your units are poorly matched or you're in trouble, try pressing triangle. Oh, okay. Well, let's do it. And let's drop the bombs. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's plenty more where that came from. Bitch. Yeah, I'm about to, bruh. You'll pay for this indeed. Come on, Come on everybody. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Aww. 
that was pretty cool. I've never I've never played a type of game that had that, but that was really good. Two arms. He's got two of them. Yeah. Ha! Easy peasy. And that laddie is how it's done. Don't ye go forgetting now. I shan't. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'm totally gonna forget it. Uh, the army menu can be accessed from the main menu. Here, you can check the capabilities of the units that you'll use in army army on army skirmishes. And when you've recruited enough of them, pick which ones will go into battle. Now well, we can get this. A Sylphie? What's up, Sylphie? Oh, lordy. Ow. Come here, Mr. Wolf. Man, bust a Kamehameha wave on ya. Luffy, what are you doing, man? You gumless piece of sh. I wonder if there's anything over here. There is treasure. Oh my lord, there is treasure that we've walked past. Whoa, and whatever that is up there. Oh god! <laughs> That was a late Kamehameha wave there, my man. A cut of bony bits. What level are you? Huh? 22? A manticore! Man, I really want to try to take you on. 500 guilders. Well... I tried, I tried saving your life, man, but you were running at me, so you got no one to blame but yourself after this ass beating. Fucking let it rip, dude. Whoops. Aw. Oh, we both traded. Da, 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 da. Oh lord. I'll do my best. Damn man! You didn't have to you didn't have to put it to him, but goddamn! I appreciate you. Oh god. Dun, 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 dun. To the heartlands. Here we are at last, the heartlands. Ooh, that's pretty. Loaf is bad. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, there's a lovely cool breeze, isn't there? Golly. Golly, we're really going to do it, aren't we? We're going to build a kingdom. Fuck yeah, we are, bro! We're gonna defeat that rat bastard piece of trash. I don't know what our kingmaker's gonna do, but sure. Yahar, that's all the tents pitched. Thank heaven for that. I'm pooped. But we can't live in tents forever. We'll need to think about putting something more permanent in place. And for that, we'll need natural resources. Bro, I've been picking up natural resources from the get-go. 
Ah, yes, building materials. Right, some good quality wood would be a start. Well, that's easy enough. The forest Niles just down the way will go and chop ourselves a few choice logs, shall we? Oi. You can't just go chopping down trees willy-nilly. What do you think Niall will have to say about that? I'm guessing he's the owner of this forest? Yes. Yes, he's the leader of the Greenlings. They're the creature who there's they're the creatures who live there. Nothing happens in the woods without his permission. Then we must go speak with him. I'm sure he'll give us his blessing if we explain the situation. Ha! You've clearly never not met Nile, lad. He's an incurable old skin flint. What did you call me? <laughs> Tighter than a hangman's noose he is. Y'all get nothing out of him for free, mark my words. We'll just have to cut a deal. I've brought my fair share of hard-nosed customers to the negotiating table in my time. <laughs> Back when I had land. What's that now? Mm, never mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go see Nile, shall we? Master of the forest. Head to the forest of Nile. New post. What do we got? What the sh? Let's, uh, let's go see. Let's get to the forest and we'll call it an episode. Ooh, it's a blue one. I want a blue one. Uh oh. It looks like in order to get there, we have to f do another battle. Another skirmish. You ready for this? Let it rip! Oh my gosh! Yeah, take a take a Kamehameha wave. That the a jar of fresh wonder water. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Yeah. There. Heck yeah, I'm ready for a scrap. Level three? What level is my stuff? Uh, Let's wait. Let's hold off. Granted, I don't know if I can, if I level up as we... Do this down. stuff, but whoops. Whoa. Bring it on, goo. Ah, oh, I hit the button. I hit both buttons at the same time. And it costed me a hit. That little part right there reminds me, it's like the same tone uh, when you find something in uh, Star Fox Adventure for the GameCube. I, that is one, a piece of com comely coral. That was one of my favorite GameCube games growing up. Star Fox Adventure, ah, uh, you had the bow staff. Used a bow staff and magic and stuff. It was basically like, I'm not saying it is, because I know a lot of people are like, don't like this? that game. But that game was like, it was basically Legend of Zelda, but with Star Fox, where you just went from land to land and completed stuff and found secrets and got new moves and abilities and stuff. And it was, ah, oh, I just love that game. A munchy nut. Dun, 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 dun. Ha ha, this treasure trying to hide. But I found ye a, a shoe the leather. Is it made of shoes? I ain't gonna wear those sacks. I ain't gonna wear them. Sh what does he say? Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna wear them sacks when you don't even have shoes. You had 100%. Okay, 
Oh, I took a hit in it. Oh yeah, we leveled up. Oh my gosh, everyone's using their higgledy moves at the same time. A tarnished blunder buzzer. Don't need it. Still have a legendary blunder buzzer. What is that? Watch your backs. What in the world? Ow! Oh, you only did three damage to me. Shit, man. Ow. Oh, yeah! Bust the Kamehameha. Alright, cool. A watery barrage bow. Ooh. Oh, a level 15 mana core? Bro, I could take you on. Gosh, you look fucking sick. Level 15 mana core. It's like a mini boss fight. Oh, did they get hit? Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, I, did I get it off in time? Yeah, I did. Bitch. A sheaf of jingle wheat and a piece of dark and scaly leather. Whew, that guy was a little tough. Was not ready for a little mini boss battle. Whoa, that's a big goo. It's a big thing of goo over there. Oh, you guys are getting the Beyblade. Let it rip! Done. In and out. What's my... Okay. Health's fine. Wait. Yeah. Health's fine. I mean, this is the first time I get to see what the hell this is. Excuse me? What's wrong with that monster? It seems different from the others. Oi. It'll tear your head off as soon as... As soon as look at what? It'll tear your head off as soon as look at you. That's what's wrong with it. The ones with the weird aura around them are a kind of uh, infected with evil. It makes them go even loopier than normal, as if they weren't enough of a nuisance already. There are some good bounties in offer for beating them, but that's because they're tough as anything. I wouldn't go near one unless you're particularly brave or particularly stupid. Got that? The infected ones are a proper pain. Don't say I didn't warn you. Tainted monsters are monsters that have been infected by a mysterious and malgen influence that sends them wild, making them much more dangerous than usual. They'll attack without pro provocation. Oh, without provocating any and all who approach them, which is why valuable bounties are offered for ridding the land of their menace. Dare to face these horrors? For more information about Tainted Monsters, take a look at Tainted Monsters under the library section of the menu. Hmm, so I can't even get a look at what level they are. All right, well, we'll just uh, we'll just leave you be, my guy. Ooh, scenery changed. That's pretty rad. Whoa! Oh, I love this. 
That's very pretty. Bring the hammer down on you. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, they got they got hit so it doesn't work. Oh no, they use it on the wrong person. <laughs> I believe I blocked it, but I'm not sure. Yeah! Grab what, bro? Why don't you pick it up? You don't do anything. I dodged way too late on that. What the? What? What was? What'd you just throw at me, bro? What was that? Award? Awarded for being awakened by a golden ball? What? Bernie Cutlass. A pork chopper? I love it. I absolutely love it. What's up, pork chopper? Ah. I d I don't know what that guy gave me, but I got what loaf gave me. Ooh, a sun-kissed tomato. Well, I believe this is our spot. So let's open up this chest and we will call it an episode. So thank you so much, everyone, for stopping in. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for taking your time to catch the episode. It means the world to me. Please enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And I hope to see you again for the next one. Have a fantastic day.